Coming this fall from SJS Direct, Easting the Sands of Time. It's action, adventure, and romance in ancient Egypt in this fantasy flashback Easting series adventure. Pre-order Easting the Sands of Time today on Amazon.com. I was watching an Ethan Van Skyver video yesterday, and he was talking about how Chelsea Kane's new Vision miniseries had been canceled during the pre-order stage. And if a publisher is canceling a book in the pre-order stage, that means that that book is absolutely terrible, and that the publisher is willing to eat the cost in order to avoid damage to the publisher's reputation, or the publisher's brand. Now, in publishing, they have something called a kill fee that they pay when a story is unacceptable and does not meet a publisher's standards. And when a publisher issues a kill fee on submitted material, again, it's an indicator that that product is absolutely terrible. And instead of them taking a risk by risking more money on a publication, they will pay the author and then just bury the book and prevent it from coming to the marketplace. And again, this is only done because publishers are afraid of damage to their reputation or damage to their brand, because in the publishing world, 90% of all books fail, and in order for a publisher to pull a profit, they have to rely on the 10% of books that are successful. And if they go out here and kill a book, they're killing it because they fear, again, really da bad damage to their reputation and their brand. And when I look at the work ethic of Chelsea Kane on this Vision miniseries, it's clear to me that there had to be, this book had to be absolutely horrible for the editors at Marvel to cancel it in the pre-order stage. Because when I listen to Ethan Van Skyver talk about Chelsea Kane's work ethic, where it took her two years to turn in four scripts for a six issue miniseries, that work schedule is completely unacceptable for a publisher of monthly magazines or a publisher with a schedule of publications. Because when you're a publisher like myself and you have books on a schedule, you need to have your scripts turned in so that they can be able to be produced by the artist within a certain window of time because when you have books coming out you have to usually work at least six months to a year before they come to the stores and usually you need a 90 to 180 day window in case something happens like a penciler is not able to come in and do the art or you have issues with the story that need to be worked out in editorial or you need to work on things like punctuation and grammar, and or you have to work out things as related to inking and lettering. And so the window that you have allows you to work out issues before you launch the book. And when you have a writer who is sitting there and producing books over the span of two years, that's unacceptable on a publisher schedule. Because I know working on a publishing schedule myself over the last three, four, five years, I usually set up my schedules for two periods. I set them up for the spring, which is the summer reading season, and then I set them up for the fall, for the holiday reading season. And usually I like to have my books laid out, formatted, ready, and uploaded to places like CreateSpace, which is now turning into Kindle Publishers, or e-reader platforms like Nook and Smashwords, and then I'll contact the artist to do the cover, and then once we have the cover, then I start laying out the 90-day schedule for book promotion, and all of those things have to work in sync in order for that book to be ready to go to the marketplace. And when you have someone like Chelsea Kane taking two years to write four issues of a miniseries, that's just unacceptable in the world of publishing, because... Again, you have a schedule, and these books have to come out 
on time because once you announce a publication street date, that book has to be in the systems of places like Amazon or on their way to the stores at least a week before they hit the marketplace. So they have to be printed. If you are doing printing, they have to be printed, boxed, and shipped before any sort of thing goes on because you have things like the previews catalog where you have to announce it 90 days in advance. And again, four issues turned in in two years. Again, completely unacceptable. And when I look at this woman and I sit there, I say to myself, as a professional writer myself who has written over 60 books, it's just, it's just ridiculous to sit there and say, you needed two years to write four issues of a 32 page comic book because as a writer myself a story like this John Haynes a conversation with death this is about the same size of a 32 page comic book and this story only took me about a week and a half to write and if I had to write this exact same comic in script format if I had to write in comic script format because this is a short story now if I had to write this in comic book format it wouldn't take me that long because right now I'm working on an adaptation of Isis All That Glitters, an upcoming book for 2019 in a comic book graphic novel format and it doesn't really take that long to really work on this especially if you're working multiple comic panels and in addition to books like John Haynes' A Conversation with Death I'm oftentimes working on other books like this Isis Escape from Transylvania. Now this book is over 105 pages and this book only took me two weeks to write. So when she sits there and says it takes her two years to write four issues, that's absolutely unacceptable because I'm a writer and I can work on multiple books like Isis series books which are usually 70 to 120 pages. John Haynes' books, like, are, like the Conversation with Death, which are to introduce the character, which are 30 pages. And I'm working on novels like I've worked on for the last three years with the Smisterella trilogy, Smisterella, Spellbound, The Legendary Mad Matilda. All three of those books were 60,000 words apiece. Plus, I was working on nonfiction books like The Man Crisis, and books like Stop Simping in the Workplace. Usually, I'm working on five, six, seven books a year, and I can get those books up to Create Space and Kindle on a consistent schedule for the holiday reading season and the summer reading season, but yet your Chelsea King, who is working at Marvel, can't get four issues of a comic mini-series up in, t in enough time for a publisher. And that's really sad that an independent comic publisher, not a comic publisher, but a publisher who can write his own books and publish them at Amazon and CreateSpace can get books out more consistently than someone who works at Marvel Comics, a multi billion dollar company and that's what's really embarrassing about the whole Chelsea Kane situation with this vision miniseries she was given more than enough time because at any other trade publishing house that would have been her reputation right there because if you cannot get product out on time if you cannot get scripts out on time then editors don't want to work with you because you cannot produce work consistently on a regular basis because editors need to know that they can rely on you to produce scripts regularly. They need to know that if you say you're going to produce a script and have it on an editor's desk by the 15th, that script is in his inbox on the 15th. And that's how you get more jobs in the business, and that's how you build your reputation, because that's how writers get jobs. They get jobs 
by being able to produce regularly and produce consistently. This is something I learned over the years as a blogger for the last 10 years because that's how you build your audience. They know that on, like with my Sean James Black Freelance Writer blog, they know that either a written blog is going to be coming on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or a video blog is going to be coming on those days if I have to have issues as related to editing books. But they know that either there's going to be a fresh blog there with a review or an article, or there's going to be some sort of content there on a consistent basis, and that's how you build your readership. When you have a writer who cannot produce consistently, that shows that there's something wrong with that writer, and even worse, there's something wrong at that publishing house, because for the editorial at Marvel to allow Chelsea Kane to have two years to write four issues of a comic script shows how weak and ineffective the editorial leadership is at Marvel because again at any other trade publishing house they would not accept the whole thing of a writer taking two years to write four scripts for books like this that are this small it should not this is just it's just unacceptable that a writer cannot write four write six books in I say six months because again when if you're really inspired you can write one of these scripts at a page a day in a month so in six months you should have at least six issues and that means you would have enough stories to be able to get this book out within the window of a year because with each book which each month you're turning a book in each month the editors are looking at the script and then they're vetting it and going through it and then after they've edited it they can go to the artist and you have windows of time to be able to craft this story so that it can be the best story it can be and again with that much time two years you should have been a Joseph Kane should have been able to craft a masterpiece but it's clear to me that there are no standards at Marvel and that's how someone like Chelsea Kane can get two years to turn in four absolutely unacceptable scripts and make money on them because when you have somebody getting paid with a kill fee that means again the publisher is taking a loss in this situation because usually when it, if you're putting up a kill fee on a series of comics that are listed in a previews catalog that means those comics have already gone to print that means that those comics are in a warehouse and that means you have taken a huge loss because you've already paid the writer for the script you've paid the artist for the pages and that means the publisher has to eat the cost and I believe that people believe because Disney has fat pockets they can continue to accept these losses but in the comic book business, if you take enough losses, eventually that's when the senior executives at a place like Disney start taking a critical look at Marvel, and that's when they start looking to start terminating people, and they start looking to do things like outsource their characters to smaller publishers or independent contractors in an effort to minimize costs and minimize Lost. So I look at this whole situation with Chelsea Kane, and again, completely unacceptable for any writer out here, because it should not ever take a writer four years, not four years, two years, to turn in four scripts of a six-issue miniseries. If anything, for a six-issue miniseries, all it should take at the most is maybe eight months and at the least about six months because if you're writing a script at a page a day like what I was doing with this Isis All About Glitters graphic novel you're working two pages a day you should be done with one issue in about 30 days and if you're writing a novel like I did with Spellbound where I was writing 
one to two chapters a day, or one, some of my nonfiction, like The Man Crisis, where I'm working on one to two chapters a day, you should be done with 50,000 words within 30 to 45 days. It should not ever take any writer that two years to write four issues, because if it takes a writer two years to write four issues of a comic book, then they don't need to be in the comic book business at all. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my ISIS series books, my East Team series books, my John Haynes series books, or The Temptation of John Haynes, or the Spisterella Trilogy, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.